I'm Booker. He's Stryker. And we've got Dave and Martin from Depeche Mode, which is mind blowing. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Hello. You look fantastic. You guys are officially back in Depeche Mode cycle with a new song. You're doing late night TV. The world tour is announced. Dave, I'll go to you on this. The internal feelings you have as this is all starting, what is it for you? Well, it's uh, it's exciting. Um, Martin and I have been, you know, we've been traveling around uh, Europe a bit and stuff, doing TV and radio and lots of interviews. And everybody is very excited about this album and the work we've been doing together. You know, there's a lot of stuff has happened in the last year. Um, and um, as far as the tour goes, like we're about to go back into rehearsal. We've been rehearsing for a bit um, in LA. Um, and then we kick off the tour in, in Sacramento after some production rehearsals out there. So excited, uh, terrified, uh, <laughs> um, all, all at the same time. And, um, but also, kind of amazed at the um the response that we seem to be getting and the, the love out there uh that is coming our way um uh with the record and with everything that we like i said we've been through in the last year being here in la we're sort of narcissists we believe that we're more important than everybody else and <laughs> we like to take ownership in a band like depeche mode and we really kind of feel that we get it you're not a hometown band but we feel like you have such history here in Los Angeles. Yes. Can you expand on that and what LA means to you guys? Well, obviously, you know, in the uh, in the in the early days, um, that was where we, you know, had our biggest fan base, and that was where we got our the, the most play. And from the help of yeah, yeah, the, the likes of you, yeah, and, and, and we. we I think it's where it sort of started mostly for us, you know, and also just going to Los Angeles, um, who I ended up living there for a while as well. But, um, you know, it's like a new world, you know, for for us, like these kids from, you know, Essex used to sort of the like dull, rainy, boring, miserable days, suddenly this bright, beautiful, you know, California <laughs> and Los Angeles. It was like this amazing place. Martin, I'll go to you on this. Both Booker and I, when we heard the news about Fletcher passing, we dedicated at least eight hours of radio to him and you guys. One song after another, we took calls from listeners on what he meant to them and what you guys as a group meant to our listeners. And there were people that had tears in their eyes. You go in to make this album, I have to think it was just incredibly difficult is it as difficult as we think it was or you are inspired in some way that we don't really know well we we you know we had a schedule booked and andy was supposed to be coming into the studio six weeks after he died to start recording with us and we decided that it was probably better for us mentally to stick with that schedule mm. and focus on making an album focus on music something that we know just to uh, help us get over the grief, you know. You know, and I think up to a point that worked. I mean, you, you know, we're never gonna, you know, forget Andy, of course. And there are so many, you know, reminders of him every day. But you know, I think it did help for us to continue with the the process. There was never any conversation. You never looked at one another and said, you know, we're done with this as a band. You said we're definitely going to move forward. Was that a pretty quick decision? Uh, I I think um, especially having the songs that we did yeah. and having the album title that we did, um, you know, it made even more sense for me for us to carry on and put that out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Memento Mori, Remember You Must Die. Oh. Um, and, you know, it's it, it's a reminder that we that we all should, uh, you know, make the most of our lives that life life short. Mm hmm. Memento Mori comes out um, in March, your 15th full studio album. Uh, <laughs> so awesome. Dave, <laughs> I'll go to you on this. Two episodes now, Never Let Me Down Again, The Last of Us. 
have you felt or seen a change in terms of like, wait a minute, there's a little bit of a different energy happening out there as a result of this show? Yeah, um, I mean, what happened after that first, uh, uh, when when Never Let Me Down was at the end of that first uh, uh, episode. Episode. Um, the the next day, I mean, we were you know sent uh, our manager sent us like hundreds of. <laughs> I didn't look at any of them to be honest, because I, and I actually sent him an email back saying, "What is this? What am I supposed to be looking at?" It was all these tags to all these different places that this had blown up, and like people were like, "What is this song? Who is this band?" Like all that kind of stuff, which was it's kind of mind blowing. But at the same time, um, I saw the episode as well. I was lying in bed. And I'd watched this and I heard, and I, Jonathan, my man, our manager, had said, you know, like, oh, the song's going to be in the show. And I'd fallen asleep, basically. And then I suddenly <laughs> heard, I was lying there, and I heard the beginning of <laughs> Never Let Me Down. And like like sort of a boxer in the ring, I kind of like sat up and I was like, oh, you know, I'm supposed to be on stage or something, or, you know, and I'm half asleep. And then I, I watched and I was kind of like, I saw the radio and the song and everything and I was like oh this is cool and also that the song itself when you hear the song in the in the show it means trouble <laughs> apparently it means it signifies trouble um, and I thought that was really very cool as well do you um fall back in love with songs in and out of love that maybe is a better question I mean you've had so many albums do you go back when you're rehearsing and say man I forgot about that one or does maybe this television episode give a song like that new life for you? Yeah, I mean, never let me down. I've, I've never. It's, it's always, ever since we recorded it and um, um, performed it on stage, it became. It's become like a, a big, a massive fan song, and and also it's a song where everybody gets to kind of participate in it. If that makes any sense, it's it, the whole. It's usually when the point where the whole arena or stadium or wherever it is we're playing, um, you you come together, and it, it's that sort of moment. There's a real moment there, so that's never got old for me. No. <laughs> <laughs> I I'll go to work for five hours broadcasting. After the day, I'm exhausted. I can't do anything. Are you have you been training for the tour? Like, do you guys have to go to like some sort of training camp, like with the Marines or something, to get ready for this kind of stuff? Twenty four hour fitness, pr pretty much. Yeah, pretty. Much. <laughs> uh, for me personally, yeah. I mean, I, I have to. I, I this time round, especially after the pandemic and all that kind of stuff, and everybody, you know, I just uh, I had to uh, take it to another level. So yeah, I got myself one of those kind of people to help me um, oh, actually it's a little little army of people and uh it's been about a year so yeah i, I feel i feel good to go i'm as good as i'm gonna right. be mark and mark always mark runs or like he's always like out running and then um oh that's so annoying he's <laughs> yeah, he's, you know, that's just annoying <laughs> yeah i know uh but you well, know it's it's weird because uh you know people i, I guess don't associate that with like uh, with with what we do, or but like, you know, life changes, and you you know, if you want to stick around and, and like the momentum more, it's, it's like remember that you must start. You gotta kind of, you gotta give it your all, and sure. you know, look, there's gonna be a lot of people come and see us perform, yeah. and you know, they're expecting the best, and they should, they deserve the best, and we'll we'll give them the best we have. Awesome, well said. We um. We've stumbled upon a segment which uh, Chris Martin himself called the worst game ever. So we decided <laughs> we were on to something, and we thought we'd throw you into this uh, to this oh, bag. Thank of you. Fun. Thank you very much. Thank You'll you. enjoy this. Thank you, Chris. guys. It's quick. It's called One Must Go. We're each going to give you one of our favorite Depeche Mode songs, and oh. you have to tell us which one must go from your set. Forever. Can we? Yeah. Can, can we? One. Can we be? We can be separate. We don't have to be the same. Or no. Any way you want to okay, answer. Fine. There's no wrong answer to this. Come on, uh, in. give it to us. I I thought 
listen, if personal Jesus wasn't in a set, people would burn down the place. So yeah. I went with personal Jesus. Stryker had a different pick. I love Enjoy the Silence so much. Please don't get rid of that one, but it's up to you. Martin, we'll go to you first. Which one must go, Personal Jesus or Enjoy oh, the Silence? So, so tough, but I'm going to go with Personal Jesus. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> Why so quick to that decision? Yeah, that was fast, Mark. Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, in the, in the real world, neither of them will go. But if, I, if I've got to choose one, uh, I don't know. I'd, it's it's tough, but um, maybe I just love Enjoy the Silence a little bit more. Oh, interesting. Thank you, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> hey? um, yeah, well, I have to pick one of those. <laughs> it's uh, a terrible game. We warned my you. My brain can't compute this. It's <laughs> like I don't have enough time. Um Which one do I enjoy uh, performing uh, uh, the most? Uh, uh, yeah, just can't get enough. Yeah. yeah just, <laughs> just, <laughs> uh, the meaning of love. <laughs> I feel you. That's the one. <laughs> meaning of love. <laughs> okay, this is not you. <laughs> Come on, man. No, all right. I'm going to pick one. One must go. I'm going with enjoy the silence. It's got to go. All right. Well done. We've heard from the guys. Memento Mori. That's the new album. It's the huge tour. We play Ghosts Again Like Crazy on our station, Alt 98.7. And, of course, on our show. We appreciate you two so much. Thanks for everything. Thank All you. Right, thank Thanks you. a lot. We'll see you in L.A. <laughs> we yes, will see you, will. you in L.A. 1,000%. Depeche I, Mode with both. I just have strike. one question for you. Oh, okay. If one of, if if one has to go, who would it be, Booker or Striker? <laughs> ah, gotcha. It's Martin asked the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm the one that always he's he's the one that carries us. I'm the one, much bigger name, much bigger name. Thank you, gentlemen. We Thank appreciate you. Your time. Can't wait to see you in concert. Bye. Bye.